What is going on everybody, welcome back to the Civilization 5 AI only Europe battle with the Health and Plagues mod. This is the final episode of actual gameplay, we're going to try to get to turn 450, so it will probably be a longer episode as was the last one. Some big stuff happened as I ended the last video as a term was still processing and more big stuff just happened as well. So let's get right into it, Iceland lost Eastern Iceland to Sweden, the Garamantes just took Santiago, but Spain may still take the northern city from that was Garamantian for themselves and France look like they're about to take Switzerland when their turn processes in a second so lots going on as we go into these final 20 turns so exciting times ahead as I just grab a drink I should probably leave the lid off because a lot's going to happen it's going to be exciting times I'm probably going to need to drink quite a bit this video lots of talking to be done but there we go France move into Bern. They're looking very strong now. Anti-aircraft guns, infantry. They're going to be able to protect themselves by the looks of things from anyone else who's going to try and ruin their shot at the top five. I think they're just going to probably have to leave it to the hands of the gods now, France, unless they can rebuild their military really quickly. If not, they're just going to have to hope that Finland doesn't do anything in the next few turns, and then who knows who will win. That is all I can say but yeah 20 turns to get through this might be a long episode so that's that's good for you guys I'm sure you guys seem to have really enjoyed this series it's probably been the best obviously it's not the most viewed yet but it's only been out for like a month compared to like the Europe the one I was comparing it to is the Europe with historic spawn dates has been out for a year so in terms of views on the day of uploading this has definitely been the most popular series ever so I'm gonna stick with that that sounds like a good way of describing this is anything else going on? Um, yes, Arabia took this city last video. It looks like Armenia may take another city here from the Ottomans. Russia staying pretty quiet, although they've built up a lot in the Black Sea. Maybe we'll see them go for Constantinople very, very soon. Switzerland are still alive. May I point out they have Luthern, this city here, which is next to Finland. And they also have their other city miles away in the far eastern tundra up here. There we go, okay, so the Sumer v the Ottomans, also the Sumer have settled up here, so if you're interested, they do now have two cities, Sumer versus the Ottomans, um, nothing too important there, and again, Mercuria, Ottomans, doesn't matter, but there we go, Armenia taking another city, they now have three cities, don't think it'll be enough to put them in that top ten, unless they pull off a miracle, but they are doing really well, good for them, Russia's turn, are they gonna throw any more surprises in, they can really have an impact. They, they look like they're preparing for something. I don't know what. Maybe they're going to attack the Sumer. Potentially. But at the moment, the Garamantes are doing something. Arabia are doing something. They've stopped at the moment, but they were attacking Byzantium. Um, Garamantes are in a big war with Spain, but could we see something from the Songhai? Ah, ah, okay. It looks like they're doubling their efforts, actually, to go after the Moors right now. And it looks like this turn we're going to see Lisbon fall to the Songhai, a big 18 population city, and if Spain can get out of this Garamantian war, this would be the time to maybe just ditch your island, Spain, protect your east coast, of course, and then just go for the Moors, go for broke, because in 20 turns, it's not going to matter what ha what happens afterwards, whether you're still alive or not, just doesn't matter, after turn 450, you've just got to make it to 450, just got to be in it to win it, I guess, so... So, so, so. We need to fly through these turns. I need to make sure I'm not missing anything, though. So I, I would put it on the automatic skip turns, but I don't want to miss a notification of a war or anything, because big stuff could happen. We never know. The Ottomans are down to one city, the city of Samson, sort of in modern-day Israel. It's down here on its own. One plane left. Arabia could potentially take them out in a minute if they were to choose to. They could get that done probably in a turn, but I doubt they will. Probably won't, they'll probably stick away from it. I mean, Armenia have done a good job, they're going to hold on to this. So, good job Armenia. Russia's turn again, are we going to see anything happen? I'm just going to focus on Lisbon for this second. I think it's going to be the next city to drop, yep. So the Garamantes seem to have won the Mediterranean battle, big hand in it from their air force. Now, are we going to see them actually push for Barcelona or Cordoba? That would be really big if it was to happen. The disease is still spreading through France. It's now in Bern, it's now spread to Venice, so we could see something pretty big going down there, but there we go. Europeans starting to really feel the press from the African sieves as the Songhai, Garamantes, Arabia, all trying to make a big final push by the look of it. 
and boom, Lisbon, 13 pop. City going into the Songhai's hands. And where will this leave the Moors? The Moors, there's still a lot more Songhai units coming. We could see the Moors fully taken out here by the Songhai. And that, that changes things on the race for second. Obviously, three sieves are in it, as far as I'm aware. Potentially, France and Finland are in that race as well. We, I'm not looking at the stats. We just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Britain has pieced out with Byzantium. I didn't even know they are at war, but they were. That's over. Byzantium is... The rest of Byzantium, I think, is fine. They're going to stay alive as long as Russia doesn't attack them. Or maybe the Garamantes, if they finish with Spain very quickly. Could see that. 2013. We're approaching 2017. That's pretty cool. Um, Santorini, as it's this, not Krakatoa, but Santorini is erupting, probably causing Byz Byzantium some problems. These planes probably shouldn't be flying through the, through the volcanic ash, but you know, I, they don't know that. This is, they're still great war bombers. They obviously don't know the effects of that. I mean, if they're using propellers, it probably doesn't matter anyway. Probably, okay, it probably does, <laughs> thinking about it. It's probably worse, but yeah, whatever. As you know, because it's like the fine little tiny bits of ash. I mean, you probably won't be able to see anything, but it's not so bad, because it's like the engines in big planes that have the problems. This is a very nice border, by the way, between Russia and Austria, with the white and red how the white meets the black that just looks very nice i just wanted to highlight compared to like this with the papal states which just looks really boring but here we go are we going to see anything else from france what they've had an impressive game they've not an impressive game they've not done too much i mean they took out denmark and used to have basil if they still had basil they'd look a little bit better they fought britain a few times they took belgium out very early on which wasn't that impressive i mean it was just a bit of luck whoever got two cities first whatever um, they've now taken out Switzerland, which pretty big devout. I did not see that. We need to make sure we don't miss anything. We've still got 25 turns to get through, which is a long time. It's going to take a while. But the Moors have retaken Lisbon. Boom. Straight back in go the Moors. So Wharf, this is big. The Moors piling in units. The Songhai have sort of retreated. Problem is Spain are not in a position to take it. Yes, they... Ooh, okay, so Spain piecing out with the Garamantes. Garamanti's happy. They've got a strong control on the Mediterranean. Are we going to see? It, this is Spain's chance now. They've got to go to the go for the Moors. Surely they've got to. AI, you've just been let off the hook. You've kept Barcelona and Cordoba. That peace deal should see you through till the end of the game. Even if with five turns to go, the Garamanti's backstab you. So this is your chance to do something, Spain. This is the safest you'll ever be. I mean, the Songhai are obviously on your side kind of the enemy of my enemy it's my friend sort of thing Russia's turn process is really quick which is nice they don't I don't know why they're so big normally it wouldn't but I think they're just moving their units around they're not really moving units around they're just keeping them all sat in the same place I think they're just settled now so that I think that we can say this is probably the end I don't want to say it because we probably they will do something but you never know you never know what's gonna happen hmm hmm how, 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 I'm just looking at the time. It doesn't look like we're going to make it the whole way through to turn 500, but we'll, we'll get, we'll get there, or 450 even. But anyway, Iceland has lost its capital. Reykjavik is now Swedish. So boom, Iceland now just a, in Africa. So they're no longer Iceland. They are Sandland. Sandland has risen or fallen. I guess Iceland has fallen. Sandland has arrived and Look at this, sweet. I mean, they may take it back, but I don't think so. I think, you know, yeah, they no, there's no melee units, so it's fine. Sweden now controlling Iceland again, top ten potential. I would say Sweden will almost certainly be around it again, but I I just don't know. It, it's gonna be interesting. I wonder whether the Celts could get in. I don't see Britain getting in. I I, I don't think they will. Celts maybe. It's unlikely though. Maybe Spain, maybe Iceland have pieced out with Sweden. But um, obviously, sixth is going to be the way I'm looking at it. Sixth will be one of these two. So that leaves seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Four more sieves to get in on that list. And I mean, if Spain will want to be one of them ahead of the Moors or the Moors, I don't know. I think Spain would beat the Moors. Sweden would probably be in there. That's two. And there's two more. You'd say maybe the Celts. I mean, Austria are still okay. 
you never know because there are some some of the info addicts just strange ones some stuff like culture that we haven't really looked at over the game you know we may see mercuria just come out of nowhere and slide in so i don't know i couldn't name a, a tenth place here the papal state someone the Sumo have got a good chance because they've got a big amount of units to maybe come 10th and surprise us. And obviously the Khazar are also still going to pick up a lot of points because of technology, stuff like that. So they're also still, <laughs> they're still a possibility for the top 10, as unlikely as it sounds. Also Byzantium, again, there's just so many people that could make it into that top 10. It is unreal. But there's not many sieves you could say won't make it into the top 10, in all fairness. I mean said Switzerland definitely won't, um, Britain probably won't, I don't know, Britain or the Celts are equal really, I don't know if I could count either of them out, Iceland won't sadly, um, who else definitely, I mean I just said Mercuria could so I can't say they won't, I don't think Armenia will, it's a bit too little too late, but other than that everyone else who's alive has still got a possibility of being in the top 10 which is pretty impressive, Austria, I mean, you know, you never know, behind the scenes, the Papal States, again, just a bit of luck, maybe they might appear in there. I think the only sieves we should count out are the Ottomans, Switzerland, who are still alive. The Ottomans, Switzerland, and Iceland. They're the only three we can count out for sure. But everyone else, and Armenia, I mean, they've got this city, but again, yeah, four sieves out of all that's left couldn't get in that top ten. Which probably isn't that many, considering, I'm just going to check how many... Are actually left alive and the easy way to do this is cities this isn't giving anything away you can count them um none 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 but still alive 21 sieves with a city still alive so take away four there's 17 sieves that could still finish in that top 10 that's it's pretty pretty interesting way of looking at things i think so so what's going to happen now is anyone going to do anything to ensure that happens i'm just going to focus down here at the moment who who holds on to lisbon ultimately spain huge rebuilding effort i can just see him pumping units out i just saw them like a few come out of these cities if the songhai the songhai aren't going to hold on there's no way this time but oh they did hold on which gives them a turn now for the songhai air force do some damage maybe send some more units who knows but at the moment the garamantes v france that's just something in my head here because they can't go to war with spain immediately since they peaced out so maybe we'll see something like that also didn't pick up on this garamantes and russia now share a border wonder how tense it is along here i mean it's only a small one sort of sicily to southern italy but how interesting could that border get in these last few turns last 13 turns now i said 25 a minute ago i meant 15 so Maybe there is still time. I was counting it completely off. So, I mean, this video, we've made it through from 4.30. So we've gone through 7 in 13 minutes. And we've got 13 and 12, which, you know, it will probably be about a half an hour episode. I'm sure we'll get through it, actually. That was just my poor counting ability. <laughs> it cost us a minute ago. But, um, hmm. Celts and Britain are still fighting, but they're just worsening each other's chances with no disrespect. To either of their efforts, I'm sure lots of soldiers are giving their lives bravely. You know, I guess the actual Battle of Britain. You guess you call it. Oh, look, it's 2017. Awesome, cool. That is the turn we want to be in. Now, is anything else going on? Doesn't look like it. These guys have a very strong presence in the ocean still. Destroyers. Could we see Suma v Kazar still late on? Maybe. I mean, they've got the navy, the Kazar. Oh my, okay, so Russia's doing something. They're, they're not letting us finish without something big happening. Sweden want to fin embargo Iceland, the big one there. The Suma embargo Russia. But if that goes through, I think we could see something happen here. Because they will not be happy. Because if Russia get embargoed, boom. They're not going to be able to afford all of this brand, brand new, nice and shiny military they have. They even have a nuclear sub sitting in the Caspian Sea. As long as I don't get one of those out into the open ocean, my my nuclear submarine should be safe. I mean, as long as Russia doesn't get one out, we should be fine not to be killed before the end of the game. But okay, so Konya, what is going on here? Who are Arabia? Arabia are fighting somebody. I, I don't know what's going on, but there is some damage being done. Maybe they're just healing. I think the Ottomans and Armenia are sort of, it's the planes that are causing the problem, but well, not the problem. There's nothing wrong. But all the numbers were coming up. 
to suggest somebody was healing. Are we going to see something here? I, I don't know. I'm just going to wait. Maybe Russia... Yeah, Russia are processing very quick compared to what I've seen before. Obviously, the AI doesn't know that it only has 12 turns to get what it's got to do done. So, I mean, we may not ever actually see anything happen here. But it looks like they're preparing anyway. So, you know, we can... In the back of our minds, we know. But again, it's not going to affect Russia too greatly. It may affect Arabia, someone like that, if they don't get whatever they're planning to do soon done. For everyone else, it shouldn't be a huge issue. Also, I think the Garamantes might be looking at the Papal States, which would be really tough, because they are well armed, the Papal States. They've just sort of sat there, they've defended well. Obviously, they did lose this city, but other than that, they've done well. Okay, so Russia's not been embargoed. I feel that's mainly because so many people are trading with Russia. I mean, even the Garamantes said no, and so did Arabia. So that sort of tells you that people like them. I don't think anyone said yay. More people were interested in... A lot of people said nay for Iceland being embargoed, but it still was embargoed. Songhai made sure of that by the looks of things. They voted against it. That's really mean. They're not doing anything. They don't want to do anything. Lisbon is once again back in the control of the Moors, but it's been really destroyed now, down to two population. The Songhai not getting all they want. But yes, like I said, Garamanti's Papal States. I could see that happening, maybe even v France, but that's gone badly for them before when it was Switzerland who owned Geneva. So who knows what's going to happen. Doesn't look like Russia are going to push any further west because, oh my goodness, the disease has spread all the way over here. But um, yeah, it doesn't look like Russia are going to go any further this way. If they're going to do anything, it's going to be out here in the northern Arabian Peninsula towards the Caspian Sea. Finland just entered the atomic era well behind France, just to point that out to anyone who remembers just how France... But then again, who knows what's going to happen. We've seen some citadels being slapped down here. Finland and France, maybe something will break out there late on. This is, this is the only thing really I'm focusing on, Lisbon is changing hands constantly, the Songhai are not going to hold on to it at the moment unless they contribute more units, I just want to see if something happens here, I mean an atomic bomb on the Suma capital would be really effective, there's so many units here, it would be very very strong, and a definite sign of intent to Arabia, yep Lisbon's fell again, wow, what, what a series it's been, and what a dramatic climax I guess we're having to it, as everything comes down so this final episode, stuff is still being left to this be decided. Very interesting. But the Songhai are back in Lisbon. This time, they may hold on. I, I, they've got a few more battleships here. The Moors are a bit further back. But Spain, this is your chance. You shouldn't be denouncing Great Britain. You definitely shouldn't be sending cavalry towards Great Britain. If you want to, if you want to do something, now's your time to attack the Moors. They're very low on units. You should be trying to get it done. Ten turns remaining. So, this is pretty big. Okay, so it's going to be another 18 minutes. So this is probably going to be a 14 minute sort of minute episode by the looks of things, which is completely fine. I have no problem with that extra long episode. I mean, it's going to take longer to upload and edit, but that doesn't matter. Sure, you guys will like it. I could always, I would split it into two, but that would be mean after I promised that I wouldn't make you wait any longer for the results. Uh, what is going on down here? Mercuria are still alive. Just doing their own thing. This small sort of African nation. They've just been happy. The Sahara Desert is slowly being filled by... There's actually some settling. Oh, no, there's not. That city's been there for ages. What am I on about? Borders are growing slowly, covering up the desert, but it's not going to happen. It's going to remain one of the last unsettled areas, mainly Africa. All of, you know, sort of mainland Europe's been settled. The only areas that haven't been settled are the really far south desert in the Arabian Peninsula, parts of the Sahara, and there's also a bit here between Suma, Russia, Arabia, everybody, and then up here in the tundra, and parts of near Finland also remain empty, but there's not much up here, just really trees. I can't see any luxuries. And there we go, Russia with the Hubble Space Telescope. So they are doing well scientifically, doing their thing. I don't know what's so important to Russia about this nine population city here but they want it defending it well like I can, I can understand Rostov even though it's small now the disease didn't help there but you know down here is just empty but whatever ah oh, what what is going to happen what 
what is go what is big what is going to change in the next nine turns is anything going to change over the next nine turns we saw France and Finland with some citadels looks like they're trying to annoy each other a bit are we going to see I mean even just an attack by someone on someone else can affect the manpower numbers population so anything however small it may appear is pretty big but wow what a, what a game what a game it's just been excitement all the times this, this, this is the first time nothing's really going on I mean the Songhai are gonna lose Lisbon again by the looks of things um, their, their ironclad is gone as well so they won't be able to take it back which is a shame for them but doesn't look like anything else is going to come for Russia. They've got just sat here. Looks like they are just consigning to defeat. to Not to defeat. To just, you know, they've won. We don't have to do anything. But if they wanted to take the Sumer out, they've still got time. Arabia wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, they are going for it. They're going for Arabia or the Sumer. Arabia would be really big. That would probably wipe them. Potentially out of the top five. Not just out of the top four. So that would be pretty interesting okay the Songhai versus the Ottomans that's pretty pretty interesting one hmm that's weird don't know why they'd do that but anyway Austria and the Celts have pieced out and some big stuff going down some big big stuff going down um hmm Spain are doing something I don't know what but they're moving around Assyria's last okay the outbreak has ended that is good for the French and some of the other people up here in Europe who it's affecting. Some guided missiles here just to defend Russia. The Moors v. the Ottomans. I don't think the Ottomans will... I think the Ottomans are going to make it. I think they're going to do it. Unless Arabia attack them. But they seem to be good friends. So that's unlikely. Nisea now has six bombers in it. That is something Russia don't have. I mean, they have a massive navy now in the uh, Black Sea. Something's going on here. There's got to be. They move forward aggressively. It's a war... Armenia is unlikely because they wouldn't attack from here as an AI. They'd go from the north just because they're stupid. I mean, they have these, so maybe not necessarily. But I think it's going to be a Sumer or Arabian war. I think that's more like, especially with Arabia's units over here. I mean, it would be harsh on Arabia if they were to be taken out in the final eight turns. And they wouldn't be taken out, but, you know, they'd lose quite a bit. The desert is open. Russia can dev take cities in one turn, as we saw with the Khazar who was second at the time, in our, in my opinion. So it's interesting. Just going to see, is this it? Russia? Oh, wow. Well, that's it. I mean, <laughs> Russia declared war on the Ottomans. That, that was all the excitement, and then it just died. Just like that. That was very anticlimactic. I was talking about how climaxing, climactic this episode has been, and that was just very anticlimactic, because... Wow, I mean, they've got an island here, but there's nothing here. Just a nice holiday island for the people of Russia, I presume, where it's nice and warm out of the snow. Britain and Celts have finally finished killing each other along the border. And it looked like Britain came off just a bit better, but I, d I don't know. I mean, the Celts have got stuff over here anyway. Interesting time. Seven turns to go, more notably. This is pretty big. Obviously, if I don't sound excited in the next ep as excited as I am now in the next episode doing the results, that's because I already know I will have know when I make the video who's won. I'll have the tally thing next to me, so it won't be as exciting to me to go. Oh, here's number one. So this is more my excitement seeing who who do what goes on at the end. I guess. Hmm. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I think it is. I think that's it now. I think seven turns of peace is likely, unless maybe... I think the Garamantes might be planning to attack Mercuria, but again, it's going to be far too late to do anything now. So Arabia are not looking to do anything. I think they're just hoping that Russia... They're just hoping that if Russia invades them, it's over here so they can fight back. Here we go, Russia's turn again. I don't think anything's going to happen. No. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Nope. They backed off. They don't have any nuclear missiles. I'd just like to, you know. Just, oh no, they <laughs> spoke too soon. They do now. They've obviously found some new uranium somewhere or something. 
Maybe they've just scrapped some of the atomic bombs to build missiles, which gives them a much bigger range. If it could hit anyone with those. Like, if you're Russia, if Russia's AI knew that they had till turn 450 and then it was a score win, they could either sit there and just win, because they know they will. But that's not the fun option. The fun option is use those nuclear missiles, you know, hit the Songhai capital, one on one on the Garamantes capital, and one on Arabia's capital, and boom. What, what an interesting way to mess with the scoreboard. That'd be really interesting to see what happens as a result of that. But here... France and Switzerland pieced out. I presume there's just some Swiss units. Oh no, Switzerland are still alive. Forget, also, don't forget France have a city up here as well. I was going to say, when we talk about civs maybe getting into the top 10, we shouldn't just look at what they have in there, in there, where they are, where they spawned, but where where they have cities elsewhere. See, Britain have got a city up here. Armenia. So that's interesting. Switzerland are here. See, Spain and the Moors, in particular the Moors, have a nice island here with the coral, with the coral a coral reef okay this is the big thing finland going for the new swiss capital of luthern i think that's how you say it they won't be able to get the other one well, they might do but yeah switzerland one turn they put it in the yellow next turn i presume they will take this and connect finally connect their big blob of land out here north of moscow which i can't believe they've held on to all game to the rest of their land and finally finland will look quite nice on a on a border and I'm, I'm glad I included Finland because I was not going to and that would have been bad that would have really handed the game to this big yellow blob if they didn't have to worry about the north back when the Huns were alive the Khazar were alive the Goths were alive when the Greeks were still here ooh ooh okay there we go now there's fighters bombers in Lisbon meaning more cities are going to be coming under a siege I think soon from the Songhai now, the Celts aren't going to do anything, but the Moors versus Spain is a big one. It might be four turns too late, but this is it. Five turns to go. If Spain can even take Cordoba, that would hugely increase their chances. And if they can take both cities, which is all possible, that would make things interesting. Okay, so Switzerland recovered a bit, but I feel everything's going to be closer. don't know whether this artillery can actually hit. Oh, wow. Okay, Finland is... Okay, that doesn't matter. Finland v Great Britain. Oh, it does. Finland is really going for it. Finland v... If they can take Newcastle as well. Finland going to try and unite... Grab all these little cities near to them in these last few turns. The Khazar v Britain. That does not matter. Khazar never built a nuke. I presume they don't have any uranium. Or they just haven't got there yet because I presume their production... Production will be fine, but like their tech is quite slow. They were probably just going on the Manhattan Project at the time. But there we go. Luthern falls to Finland, if they can get Newcastle as well, then who knows where they'll finish Finland, but for France, this probably might condemn them to 6th who knows I think France might be about to attack Austria as well, so let's just see, we've got 5 turns who knows, anything could happen still especially in Spain this is where the big stuff's happening let's see how if the Songhai actually start any sort of attack on Cordoba, if they start bombing it with planes that will be big because Spain have got the units here just to s slip in and take it and it's into the yellow so they're obviously cautious they know what Spain are trying to do as well and also may see Songhai v Spain as well in a minute which wouldn't help the Spanish Britain Finland okay so Finland I presume are now gonna move up to what are these by the way rune singer I presume they're a unique unit that aren't very useful for AIs because they're not using them okay here we go are Spain gonna get the job done this turn no, I don't think so. They're not close enough. It's in the yellow. So it will probably fall to the song high next turn. I'm, I I, I feel bad for Spain. But I don't because they've waited so long. But yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Four turns to go now. So where is the big stuff? Finland gave us something big. The song high pieced out. Okay, so Spain will take Cordoba eventually. If they can get it done, that will be big. The Moors won't be able to get in the top ten. We can make them join the other four sieves we said wouldn't be able to. Papal states are still alive. That doesn't help them all that much. They need to be doing more than staying alive. Was there something going on over here? No. I mean, Russia were moving, but then nothing happened. The big thing was Finland, but they got that done in a turn. Will we see them actually go after Britain, or was that just a declare war, but not actually fight each other kind of war? 
Oh yeah, Russia declared war on the Ottomans and they've just put six atomic bombs on this island. I don't know which one this is. Is this Crete and then this is Cyprus, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully got it right or I'm going to look a bit stupid, but it's fine. If you say something with confidence, you know, normally, normally people will believe you even if I got it wrong, apparently. But I'm pretty sure I got that right, so it's okay. If I'm sure of myself, then it's fine. Is this going to go? The Songhai are going now. Obviously, they're going to retreat. But Spain are going to go a turn late. I think Spain are going to go in about a turn. I don't know what the Songhai are doing, by the way. Maybe they will fight the Garamantes for one turn, which would be really, really boring. If they did it on turn 449, I just want to say there would be a continuation. I mean, not of the leaderboard, but I would show afterwards what happened if Songhai, Garamantes, Arabia, any of those three sort of had a war with each other. I'd show you what happened. I'm not that mean. Okay, Spain are going to get the job done before the end of the game. Whether they get Valencia is another question, but that would really help them. Is anything else going to happen? Sweden have collected a lot of stuff here, but I don't think anything... Maybe they'll attack the Celts late on. But other than that, or maybe the French, but nothing's really going to happen, I don't think, there. Finland are making an effort they're sending their boats round it might be too little too late though to take Newcastle over there is a, so many 10, 9, 6 down here Russia in a good position but it looks like we're going to get to the end as expected also there ah there we go so also the Moors gave away Murthia to the Songhai this could be pretty big for the Songhai this may help them into second who knows whether they'll come second, third, fourth, fifth or sixth, because France and Finland really can't be counted out now. I mean, maybe France. I, th I don't know. I don't want to count anyone out now. It's too late to do that. Unless Russia, like, declare war on Finland now and just drop, like, ten nukes, then, you know, something like that could change it. But no one else has built a nuclear weapon all game. So that's pretty interesting. No one else. Only two civs with the Manhattan Project and the Khazar being one of them. Still quite a surprise, but I mean, they're not that far behind technologically. They're just nowhere near enough units to defend themselves from this monster of a sieve who I think you should take our hats off to if you're wearing a hat because they've done very well. Ooh, okay, there we go. I, I like this. I'm calling more wars this campaign. There was the one earlier on the last video where I said Garamantes v Spain and about two seconds later the Garamantes declared war on Spain. Now we're going to see it. Saw it with Sweden and the Celts a few minutes later. It did look like they were. Maybe we'll see Sweden link up and that will probably ruin the Celts' chances, I'm afraid. Also, it looks like Switzerland are going to hold on out here in the tundra. So, it's good for them, I guess. They're going to survive till the end. Britain look like they've got enough units here to hold them off. I mean, Finland aren't actually sending most of the army up. It's kind of a difficult trek to make. So... Well, what a camp out. I've got to keep looking everywhere in case there's like a huge army just wandering across that I haven't noticed, like this one. But they have open borders, so I don't think we're going to see a war there. Um, the Garamantes aren't going to do any more, I don't think. It's too late for them to do anything anyway. Anything that will help them. The French look like they are ready to attack Austria, but again, it will probably be too late. Yep, France v Austria called another war. I'm impressed with myself. I mean, if they can pull off a miracle, they don't have the air force to do it, though. Or the artillery. They've only got one, two, and Austria have got a lot of units here. You never know, though. I'm not going to count it out. It could see Basel. We could see Basel fall, but it's very unlikely. That's all I'm going to gonna say to keep myself some breathing space if I get it wrong. Are Spain going to fail? That would be unbelievable. No, there's cavalry. That couldn't get the job done, I think. Why are Babylon taking so long? They're not... They're not here anymore. They're not with us anymore. Okay, so we, we've ran over 10 minutes, but that is absolutely fine. We're going to run over another 5 minutes to get to the end. So, this is it. I don't, I, I'm not sure. Turn 448 is this one, so I presume there's only one more turn left to actually go through. So, if I'm right. So, Spain, are they going to get it done this turn? Yes. The Moors capital falls to Spain. That leaves Valencia, which I think they're not going to take in one turn. So, yeah, it's 449. So this is it, the last turn. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen now. The Congress does not matter. France have got to pull off some sort of miracle to take Basel now. 
No other cities at risk of falling, I believe, in the world. Nowhere else is being sieged. Just quickly click over and check where there might be something going on that I've missed. Uh, ooh. Okay, maybe... Okay, here something's going to happen. Sweden have a chance, because they haven't been yet. The mods go first. Um, yeah, this is ended. This is over. The question is, will the Moors take Cordoba back? Which is a possibility. I wouldn't count it out. If we see like a huge war declared this turn, like I said, I will show you the result later on. Separate video, probably. Which would be pretty cool. Arabia's final act, then. Final chance. There we go. That is it. Job done. Arabia have settled for wherever they may be. Here's the French. I doubt they can do this. There's no way. If they could get the city low enough, all they'd have to do is slip the infantry in. Yeah, nowhere near. As expected. There we go. So France are done. Russia now going to be done. Are we going to see something huge from them in the final turn? Nope. Songhai. Now I think they're pretty much done as well. I think so. I don't, I don't think we're going to see anything else in the game. Wait, has Sweden been? Ah, I think Sweden have been. In which case, it looks like Sweden may have been done. If Sweden have one more turn, they would be able to grab probably both of these. But I don't know. I think it's Babylon, then a Assyri Spain, a Syria, and that's it. Not 100% though. So here we go. Austria. No, so obviously I wasn't right. The Celts are still going. I was definitely wrong. Sweden, one or two. One. They couldn't quite grab Kalpang. Very close. It was in the red. I feel bad for Sweden there. But boom. They got Norway done. I do feel bad for them here. But they had so long to do it. And they just left it late. But you know what? They almost unified that area. But that, guys, is going to be it for this series. I'll be back tomorrow with the top 10 definitive official list. Let me know. Ow. Just smashed my elbow on the desk. Let me know what your top 10 is below. And we see if you get it right. I mean, like I said, you can pick one at the start. I know someone has got it right already, and they will get a shout-out in tomorrow's video. But for today, leave your top 10, and if you get it right, you won't get a shout-out. But you can feel good about yourself, because obviously I'm going to make the video before I see the comments on this video. But anyway, that is it for this campaign, technically. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.